start the slime shop? I'm more confident in my abilities to just do work and reach out to people and I'm more comfortable with some sort of rejection or things not working out and I think those are very important qualities of anybody, a student, an engineering student, and a change maker. I'm not a big fan of science but I like math. Even the teachers, they find it weird that I like math. Some of the kids tell me that like math is like really hard for them. I'm here because this is the perfect thing for me. When I grow up, I want to be a smart, intelligent woman. I don't think that education gets enough acknowledgement. You put all of the emphasis on the things that are fun and cute and Instagrammable moments, but those are not things that are going to carry you through life. So Go Girl STEM is a Baton Rouge-based initiative founded to bridge the gender and socioeconomic gap in STEM. A lot of times it's correlated. I actually started it first and then officially developed it. So I started it initially as just a fun way to hang out with the neighborhood kids. And because they enjoyed the activities that we were doing and overwhelming positive feedback, I decided to make it more formal and research more into different activities that we could do because we were always doing slime. That's where it grew. And then I got opportunities to make it more official. So we made a website and then we made, printed pamphlets and business cards and flyers. It's for everybody, but we want to focus more on girls and provide a safe space, especially at a younger age, because that space, unfortunately, eventually somewhat disappears as they get older. Again, the gender gap in STEM. We have the saying, go, G-E-A-U-X. And then I was like, go girls make it obvious in the name that we have a special focus in STEM and it's for girls. So I was like, go girls time, kind of makes sense. It allows girls to lean into that, lean into the science, lean into the technology, you know, lean into your abilities to do other things. We don't focus so much on like school-based and like official learning and more like hands-on tactile, just having fun while still trying to learn something that will reflect in real life but we don't ignore the humanities in our curriculum. We always conclude with reading. It's obviously important in life and other domains of education. Oh, so it's just fun. It really does take just one event, which can be anything to change your relationship with those subjects. Uh, for me, it was seventh grade when I got 100 and I didn't expect it. When I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm capable of it. I just have to keep doing it, building that grit and resilience. I think that is really exciting. It's about just kind of having some balance. You can do the cute, fun, girly things, but you can also recognize your mental capabilities and be in the same room as the guys. You can do whatever it is you want to do. I'm very conscious about the way I speak to them, making sure our, the language that we use, the representation and the role models we use is of somebody that they feel represented to. Every day I get better and better. And I just want to get better and better. So I'm just going to be smart and I know everything. If it's like really hard, it's like satisfying when you really get to know it. Like that's why it's like the vision is so much fun. If I do those things, then I can grow up to be whatever I want to be. Because I've participated in programs like this that uh, basically erase the financial barriers and allowed me to explore amazing STEM science opportunities. Wherever we go from here, I don't want, ever want it to cost to anybody. And then we make it accessible. We make it at our park. We make it at the library, which is free. The volunteers are usually very involved in school and are proactive kids and adjust volunteers. They're always looking for volunteer hours and use them. It's very important that we're gaining this visibility because it can help recruit participants, which we need. Start with what you have. Use the resources available to you. I promise you there are a lot. Reach out to your local libraries, community centers. Reach out to mentors and uh, organizations that are already doing something similar in your area. They will definitely help you and connect you with other resources. I see myself as a change maker because of the impact I think my work is doing. Every time somebody gets excited about making slime or doing any sort of activities, I think that's when I know that I'm making a difference.